Hey, welcome back to my awesome YouTube channel guys. Today we are going to see how to write, run and understand a hello world program in Golang. For this tutorial, I will be making use of the online Go editor found at the URL play.golang.org. As you can see, this provides me with a text editor and functionality to run and format my code. Also, when I first load this web page, the hello world program is written on my screen. So I can simply get started by hitting the run button here. And we can see that we have the output which was expected, which is hello comma playground. Now don't worry about anything. I will try to explain this program to you step by step. So let's get rid of it and let's start by saying package main. Now what do we understand by the term package? Package essentially means a collection of code. In this example, we are defining a package whose name is main. Now make note of the fact that the package name need not always be main. I can provide any valid golang variable name over here. But if I want to run a program which has a function called main in it directly, which I would like to run directly rather than use as a library, I need to name that package as main package only. For now, this much of information should be and we will learn more about packages in the coming videos. The next line in our code was import fmt. Now here we saw that we are defining a package of our own but at times we might need to use certain functionalities provided to us by other packages. It might be the Golang standard packages or might be packages written by ourselves. By saying import and then saying the package name, we are able to use functions from other packages in our package or in our Go files. And as a good programming practice, we should only import those packages that we are making use of. Next, we had declared a function which was called main, func main, and it started and ended with a set of parentheses. We will see what a function is in details as we go ahead, but to explain it in very, very rudimentary terms, a function is just a set of lines of code which can be made to run from somewhere else in your code as well. When a standalone Go program runs, it looks for a function which has the name of main and it runs or executes all the lines of code that are inside the braces of the main function. So if we have a standalone Go program, we should always have a function called main in there. Okay, lastly, we had something similar to fmt.println and we were using the string hello, comma, playground. So here we can see that we are making use of the fmt package that we have imported over here. And from the fmt package, we are trying to run the function println. This println function prints whatever text we give it with a new line attached at the end of that text. So when a Go program is run, the function called main is executed and whatever lines of code are inside that function are executed one by one. If I hit on run, I can see that we see a output of hello comma playground with a new line at the end. Now this is such a small piece of code, it's just four to five lines, but there are so many nice concepts to understand here. And I hope I have made things a little bit clearer for all of you. So we see that we also have a format button here. Let us see what it does. Suppose we write code which is like all over the place, not looking that good. If I click the format button, it beautifies the code for us. Because our code should always be good looking. It shouldn't be all over the place because that spoils readability. So another thing that you might have noticed if you already have some programming background is that we are not using semicolons. So although semicolons can be used in Go, 
they are generally avoided and in fact if you use a semicolon you might might be frowned upon so better not use semicolons while coding in go now let us see some aspects where the code could have gone wrong or we can call it how not to write a hello world program in go so what happens if we say suppose missed out on giving the package statement at the start of the file let us run this and it tells us that it expected package but found import what this tells us is that every go file should begin with a package clause how about suppose we miss out on the import statement okay now it tells us that fmt is undefined which means that go does not understand what fmt signifies over here so this tells us that we should always import the packages that we are using in our go file what happens if i try to import an other package here which i am not using okay so go tells me that i imported a package called strings but i did not use it so this is one very good programming practice that we should import only those pieces of code or those packages that we actually intend to use in our program and it also helps the compilation speed in golang let's remove this now what if our function was not named main but main 101 it tells us that function main is undeclared in the main package which means that go is looking for the main function to be able to run our program so we should always have a main function in our standalone go programs this might not be necessary in library code but for a standalone program it is very necessary how about i next uh, misspell this program uh, this function and say run so we can see that again golang tells us that fmt dot print whatever is undefined so golang essentially does not know what to do when it encounters this statement what if we had the right name but we did not have the right case again we see that println is undefined which tells us that go is a case sensitive language which means that lowercase and uppercase alphabets are treated differently in go all right what if we don't do not use fmt before the name of the function so we get two errors we imported fmt and did not use it as well as we are trying to call a function println which go does not know exists or not okay let's get the program back in order now one more thing that I want to discuss before wrapping it up is that this println function can take many number of arguments. So we might even be able to give it an other argument. Suppose please subscribe to my YouTube channel like always and we run it and we can see that it works. And just one last thing before I leave is that all of the code that we are writing as a part of this course is available on this URL github.com slash ae dorado slash learning go this is my github profile and all of the code will be added to this repository regularly and you can see the hello world program is already there so do do check it out the links in the description below and do follow me on github as well so that's gonna be it for this time guys did you try all of it out on your own as well do tell me in the comments below were there any surprises or did it run all so smoothly and i'll see all of you guys in the next video but before i go if you like the content of the video please do hit the like button please subscribe to my channel if you have not already you can hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates and like always thanks a lot for watching